Yamashita will begin by taking you through some nunchaku warm-up exercises. These exercises are vital so you do not pull any muscles. And by keeping the body warm before you start, you'll act much more alert and your reflexes and speed will be much sharper. Stretching overhead now. Using the nunchakos to your advantage. Stretch toe to toe, back overhead. Stretching, reverse gripping the nunchakos. Going high, low. Now loosen up the wrist. Loosen the shoulders. Swing around, stretch the back muscles and shoulders. Good stretch. Leaning forward, keeping your legs apart. Loosen the hips. Twist back and forth. Close the chucks together. Concentrate on loosening the wrist up. You're now ready to begin. Nunchako stances and guards. Very strong position. Holding the nunchuck behind you, ready to strike out in front. You should be following along. By following along, it enables you to master each movement with your instructor, Sensei Tadashi Yamashita. Upper block, ready to strike. Side block. Kamai or ready stance, offering a down block, going to an upper block, ready to strike. Very strong position. Very deceptive move, holding the chucks behind your neck. Now behind the waist, in a very strong stance. Around the wrist guard. Upward block and guard position. Side guard position. guard position. Behind the back guard position. Very deceptive move. Your opponent does not know where the nunchaku will come from. 
upward show of strength guard position. Upward open nunchaku guard position. Nunchaku, understanding the proper wrist action. This is very, very important. Pay attention. Now, as the master strikes out with the nunchaku at a steady object such as the bow, the wrist action is follow through. Do not stop when hitting the target. Your wrist must turn and follow through. Turn and follow through. He cannot stress this enough. This is the most important aspect of your learning the nunchaku. Rotate your wrist with the strike, following through. If you don't, it'll bounce right back and hit you. Look at the motion. This is what gives you a powerful strike. Follow through, follow through. Quick rotation of the wrist. Wrong. You're not following through, it's gonna come back. Bring your wrist down with the strike. Watch carefully. Practice along with the master. Do not stop the wrist. Follow through. Very bad move if it bounces back. Again, you can cause damage by not following through on the downward strike. Look at the wrist motion. This is what will give you tremendous speed and power to follow through the wrist action of the nunchaku. Watch the action without the nunchaku. Hit the object, relax the wrist, Continue the motion, continue the motion. Roll with the motion. Incorrect if it bounces back. The bounce back is the biggest mistake beginners make. They do not follow through, so don't make that mistake and you're on your way to excellent nunchaku technique. Even with the nunchakus closed together, watch. You see, the wrist action applies. It's incorrect if you stop the motion. It must follow through. Do not cut. No. Samurai sword. Cut. Cut. Wrist action, follow no. through. Cut. Do. 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 No. Do. Do. I want to do 
far away, even closer, you must hit Paul properly. Otherwise, you trouble. Because if you hit, hit something, you hit your hand all the time, or you hit bag, you bunch your, come back to your head. Very important. So we are demonstrating before far away distance. Because a far away distance, you come back to you. Example, very important. But I show you many people close distance even come back. Close distance, you hit, always come back to you. I always come back to you. No, 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 no. Yes, you trouble. You want to be short distance, pick it up. Short distance, you must. Bounce back, no properly. No bounce back. Immediately back. Immediately back. Even close. Closer. Even closer. You see over here? Closer. Even closer. This is very important. If he doesn't do this, bounce back. You hit your hand. No, no, no. Okay. We we'll show you how close you can properly hit. I explained to you before. Close, close. What happened? Now you hit. You turn the breast. What happened? Go away. Do you understand? If you come back, what happened? Turn go away. But many people. Do this, do this, no good. Even impact is not follow. Impact, follow, impact, impact. Very important. That's why you gotta be close, even there. Close, not hit your body. See, you control stick. You control stick. You control stick. Right. Get control stick. Right. That's the idea. You understand? Even this. Why reason the deeper you think you trouble so you go back? No. Even that come to you. Very important. Okay? No. Punch. Same. Punch. No punch this. Idea same. Chaco striking, blocking, and flipping techniques. Simple but very powerful strike. Overhead swinging right around to your opponent's temple or jaw. Notice how he holds it in the middle area of the nunchaku. Very quick circular snapping motion. You should be following along. We cannot stress this enough. This is an instructional video. If you want to learn, you can't just sit there. You must participate. Now coming across, striking down at your opponent's shoulder, neck, jaw, side of the head, any vital area that gets in the way. Now from behind, very simple figure eight strike, raking across the front of your attacker's body.
flipping upward, striking into the attacker's groin area, between the legs or underneath the chin. Can also be used to break the attacker's wrist if he's holding a knife, let's say. Flipping upward and catching. Notice how the master is always planted in a very strong stance, never takes his eyes off his opponent. Now, from underneath the arm, striking straight out to the attacker's nose, top of the head, wrist, solar plexus, coming back very quickly. Back flip over the shoulder, catching the nuchaco, always catching it to control it. Straight overhead strike, top of the head. Striking out across the jaw. Again, could also be striking the opponent's weapon. Let's say he has a sword or a bow staff. You might want to knock it out of his hand. Short flicking motion from the lead hand. Now coming from around the back area, swinging across the front of the body, striking your opponent in the rib cage. When you hit with the nunchaku, you only want to hit with the last two or three inches of the tip. That's where all the devastating power will make contact. Flipping back and catching. Now this one's a little tricky. Coming around the neck and catching. Making a very smooth pass of the nunchaku from one hand to the next. Of course, practice these at a very slow pace, and the master stresses that you work with the foam rubber nunchakus until you can graduate up to the wooden ones. Safety first. Now, developing a small combination, striking across, flipping back. Ready position. Coming from behind the back. Take another look at it. Behind the back catch. Very fundamental and effective striking technique. Striking, follow up, coming between the legs, catching from behind. Practice this one very carefully. Crossing around the front of the body, catching behind. And 
Strong strike, catch behind the neck. As you can see, the master is starting to build on the very basic techniques. He's adding a little more each time. Gets a little more complicated. Coming around the leg. routines and combinations you can develop are unending. There's literally thousands of nunchaku techniques. The goal the master wants to set forth is to put you on the right path. Once you have the good foundation of the nunchaku, you're on your way. The sky's the limit. Nunchaku, previous striking, blocking, flipping techniques, repeated in slow motion. All the techniques are being replayed slow. This is your opportunity to follow along.
Nunchaku striking, blocking, flipping combination. This is where the master starts putting them all together, all the fundamentals. Look at his incredible speed and power, coordination. These are the techniques you want to strive for. Continuous, flowing, devastating strikes and counters. Nunchaku, self-defense and vital target areas. These are the targets you strike out for with the nunchakus. The head area, the top of the head, overhead strike. Side of the head, temple, rib cage. Following through with the wrist action across the body. Combination, top of the head to the ribs. With the blunt end striking into the midsection. Self-defense techniques of the nunchaku. Watch it slowly. Locking a punch to the face, strike to the groin. Follow through with the blunt end to the temple. Break the elbow, strike the ribs. Temple. Punch 
stomach. If the ribs spin around, power strike to the stomach. Or solar plexus. Blocking with the chain or string of the chuck. Break the leg. Strike with the blunt end into the solar plexus. Hit the throat. Back to the stomach. Watch again, different angle. Two blocks. Break the leg. Stomach, throat. Come down hard into the ribs or solar plexus with the blunt ends of the handles. More quickly. Watch the master's awesome speed. Slow motion. This weapon is incredibly versatile, as you can see. Every part of it is lethal. Block, block. Hit solar plexus, break the rib cage. Come back across the other ribs. Again slowly, blocking with the handle against two punches. Hit solar plexus, middle striking. More quickly. Without that bamboo breastplate, you'd be a dead man. Sidestepping on the outside of the opponent. Block, hit the rib cage. Strike the ribs again. Break the leg. Strike to the back of the neck. Even though you don't have an opponent, you should still try and follow along. Use your imagination. Work with the master. Mimic his every movement. Get a feel for the weapon. Sidestep, block. Break the leg. Strike to the base of the neck. Work in front of the mirror. Try to follow the TV. Block, spin. Strike the ribs. Break the jaw with an upward strike. As you can see, you don't always have to be swinging the nunchakus to have an effective weapon.
Locking a punch, turning it into a wrist lock. Lock down. Turn your right nunchaku up. Wrist lock, foot sweep, stomp. Finishing technique. Watch again. Slowly. Catch the wrist. Wrist lock. Follow through with a foot sweep. Take your opponent to the mat. Similar technique, locking, tying the opponent up with a wrist lock. Convert it into a throw. You'll notice in this technique, you don't need to take the man down with your leg. Master always comes back to a strong guard position, never taking his eyes off the opponent. Double block, arm throw. Again, wrist lock. Go underneath the opponent's arm, flipping him to the ground. Pay close attention to this one.
Nunchaku kata. This is a very basic kata that basic you must strive to master. Nunchak. Try to learn four or five movements at a time, then move on to more. Learn the kata in pieces. Once you've mastered this form, you are on your way to nunchaku mastery. Now look at it again. Basic kata, nunchak. Now the kata repeats again, this time in slow motion. Try and follow along. Don't worry if your moves aren't perfect. Make an effort. To constant practice, you can only get better. Once you've mastered the techniques on this tape, you are then ready for Master Yamashita's Nunchaku Tape Volume 2, Advanced Techniques. In Volume 2, he teaches you the double nunchakus and many, many fighting techniques. A true challenge to your martial arts abilities. The kata is performed again in slow motion.
basic kata, nunchak. Now, full speed and power, nunchaku kata. This is what you want to strive for. This is competition speed and power. Just perform the kata, live the kata. Imagine the attackers coming at you. Block counters. Be alert. Look at it as a performance of survival. If you do that, you'll give 100% every time. Nunchaku concealment. How and where to carry your weapons. Up the sleeves, very deceptive, and the pant legs. In the jacket, behind the neck. In the belt area. You must conceal them so you can draw them very quickly. You don't want to fumble for your weapon behind the back.